Today we're out on a site of a future stream restoration project on Backlick Run near the Edsel Road 395 and 495 area of Fairfax County. Starting in, in about 2007, Backlick Run started to uh, migrate north. Um, in the intervening years, it has migrated somewhere in the neighborhood of about 175 feet north, which is a severe uh, stream migration. Over the years, we've estimated since about 2007, approximately two and a half acres of property has been eroded by Backlick Run's migration. In addition to that surface area that's been lost, there's been approximately 750,000 or more cubic feet of soil that have been eroded by Backlick Run, pushed downstream into Holmes Run, which connects with Cameron Run, and eventually it goes out into Potomac River. So to help put in perspective how dynamic Backlick Run is in this area, on my right is the stream bank that used to exist here seven or eight years ago. In the intervening time period, Backlick Run has steadily migrated north, dropped the sediment that we're walking on today, and has left these raw, high eroded banks upstream behind me. As the water comes through the soft soils in here, the stream will erode the soils at the bottom where it makes contact with, with this steep face. As those soils get washed out and, and push downstream, the soils above it get undermined and eventually gravity takes over and those soils will fall in and the vegetation, including the trees, will collapse into the stream and they'll be washed downstream. After they get washed out, the same process will begin all over again with the stream moving up against the soft soils, undermining the soils, the collapse, and so on. It's a perfect storm. And I say that because you've got a major interstate, the Beltway, you've got a significant railroad, North, Norfolk Southern, you've got a Backlick Run, you've also got a very large, very large wastewater uh, sewer pipes, and then you've got the community. They've enjoyed their backyards for a very long time. Yes, they could see the Beltway, they could hear the Beltway, they would hear the, the train, they never thought they'd be able to see the stream eating away at their backyards. We received a call from one of the residents here, and, it, and it's one of these homes right here behind us. They had called in, they spoke with one of our ecologists that is the uh, plan manager for this area, and had said, look, I can see the stream from the back of my house, and several years ago, there was nothing but woods out there. Please come out and take a look at it. After heavy rains in July, the stream had migrated severely to the north and those rains exposed a 33-inch sanitary main uh, into, in the stream bed. Uh, yeah, we were very lucky in the fact that uh, stormwater found this issue in the first place. I mean, if they didn't find it, uh, there's a chance that this pipe could have ruptured and caused a, a big ecological disaster, pretty much we started an emergency project immediately. We first started uh, just burying the pipe, getting uh, stream bed dirt and just burying it, make sure it's all, all back under the ground. And the next step was to protect the pipe. And then we started armoring the stream banks to make sure that the water could not go back and undermine our pipe or cause any more damage to the pipe. Then after that, stormwater got in there and used our entrance access to go and start uh, bringing in more large boulders to form the stream channel to pr make sure the, the stream couldn't uh, erode away the stream banks anymore. It, it feels good to, to be able to collaborate with our other divisions and be able to knock out a project like this to uh, ensure the, the health and safety of the public. Our stream restoration project starts just uh, the north side of the Norfolk Southern Corporation Railroad Bridge. It'll come around this meander here and it runs downstream probably for another thousand feet before it ties back into uh, the existing channel of Backlick Run and will incorporate extensive native vegetation being planted on the, the banks and the slopes surrounding the stream channel. But I think this is a good example of looking at public infrastructure and what we depended on years ago as our protection 
isn't our protection anymore. We need to assist Mother Nature in that protection. And that's what this project does.